Hi there everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we have an unboxing from AliExpress. Um, so without further ado, I guess we'll just get into it. <laughs> I'm going to pause the video real quick and I'm going to open up these bags and we'll look into it. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, guys, first things first, I wanted to show you, I got these, let me zoom in just a tad. I got these and these are like finger cots, so to speak. Um, so basically they're to protect your finger for, from when you're diamond painting or whatever. Now I have fat fingers, so, but these are, are, are elastic, so they should fit on me pretty well. Um, and they're to go on there to help you when you're diamond painting to give you a little bit of um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Goodness gracious guys. To give you a little bit of, um, of cushion there. So you have that on your finger and you're not hurting as much. Now, I kind of did that because when I hold my tweezers, now I'll probably put it on a different hand, but when I hold my tweezers, or different finger, when I hold my tweezers, sometimes I pinch my finger, um, depending on how I hold it. So um, I got them because of that. But I also tend to push quite quite forcefully sometimes against this finger with my, um, I don't know why, like for some reason, like sometimes I just start grabbing my pen like really hard rather than relaxing it. So, um, <clears throat> I just thought these would be nice to, um, protect your finger and stuff while you're diamond painting. And they weren't that expensive. I mean, you can go on AliExpress and look, but for, they came in five different colors and yeah, it is kind of tight. My finger is, you can tell there's like a, maybe a difference of color there, but I think that they would stretch out if you just give them some time, you know, just like anything else, give them some time and they'll stretch out. They do have that seam right there. So you could probably roll this a little bit, you know, cause it is, it is just fabric. So you could probably kind of manipulate it so that that seam wasn't right there. So if I just roll it a little bit like that, now the seams on the bottom. So <clears throat> it might not bother you as much. Oh yeah, that feels way better without that seam there. So yeah, just roll that so that the seam's out and then that can help you kind of just give you a little bit of um, comfort, a little bit more comfort. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. So, all right. That's, that's the first thing that I wanted to show you guys. And I don't know why it came. So I put these, these two extras in this, in these bags here, because for some reason each, they gave me three bags and they only had one in a bag and the other two were just out and about. So, um, I just put them in there. These bags are really flimsy, but they're cute because of the gold. I don't need these labels on here. And they're, because it's kind of like fabric on the back, not fabric, but soft on the back. They'll just wind up coming off and sticking to something else anyway. But yeah, so little finger cots for you. Okay, and um, I'm going to grab the next thing. And I'm going to be right back. Okay, here's the next thing. Um, 
I got three canvases on this haul, and two of them are poured glue. The other one is a double-sided adhesive, so I'll save that one for last because that one, I can't, I don't know how much of it I can show you. But, so let's open this one up. I kind of opened, took it out of the plastic so that um, it wouldn't be so loud for you guys, and I wanted to check how the, the drills were uh, stored because if they were going to be in the little individual or the little strips, I was probably going to cut them apart so that I could show you them, but they are squares, so they're in their baggies. So we have our basic tool kit, pen, boat, wax, looks like that's a, a little three placer there on it. So just basic, basic um, kit. And I'm going to set those aside and let's look at this. Check this out. I thought this was really interesting. Now you guys, I'm not sure, I'm going to zoom that out as far as possible. Um, it's one of those pictures that are kind of like, um, I don't know what you would call it, like pop art style maybe, um, but it's like this, you know, um, street scene with a cat walking on the bottom of it, a black cat. And I thought it was really cool looking. They had like four different styles. I think it was four. Um, four different styles. But I really like this one. And I got it. This is, um, I got it in square. And I just, I don't know. I just thought that this would be an interesting um, picture to do because of the, the style of the art on it. If I can get this plastic straightened out. <laughs> there are some wrinkles in this, you know, AliExpress, that stuff does come straight from China, so. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. So you've got a street view, so you've got like this is like a street sign here or um with a like a walk don't walk sign um pole there some buildings in the background sunsets this is the street and the cat walking on the street um the thumbnail is very small um i don't know if you would be able to see i can zoom in why am i trying to lift it Zoom in, Stacy. <laughs> um, that's your thumbnail. I don't know if that helps you see it, but this is the. That's your little drill field there. There's square drills. So there's, you know, it's a combination of color blocking and. Um, color blocking and confetti um, I just thought I don't know I just thought it was really cool I for some reason I am at, at a loss for words today but I just thought it was really cool I thought it was an interesting picture to do so we have our drills and baggies here um, Lots of blues, pinks, yellows, a little bit of purple in there. Um, they are square drills. They have the dimple on the back, so saying that, that most likely, from what everybody tells me, that most likely means that they're acrylic, not resin, because they have the dimple. I can see it clearly on this light blue here. Um, I'll zoom in. You're not going to be able to see the dimple, but, and you might if you look, but I can see the dimple on that. But you know what? I don't really have any issues um, with 
square drills coming from AliExpress other than maybe um, some companies they're not um, completely square sometimes which is frustrating but yeah I see a lot of dimples on those blues I, on these, on the lighter blues, I don't really see them that much. Oh no, I see them on this one too. But this is your color palette here. And I'm trying to minimize the, the noise. <laughs> Again, the noise doesn't bother me. I kind of like it, but, you know, not everybody likes it. So, alright, I'm going to zoom back out and kind of give you another overview of this. So this here is um, a 40 by 50 and it's got 26 colors. The legend is numbers and letters. I don't see anything that's really going to um, confuse me or make me go, wait, what is that color? There's, there's an 8 on here, a number 8 on here, but there's no B, you know. Um, and then there is, the E is kind of dark on the legend. The E is kind of dark. The R is kind of dark on the, on the canvas. So I don't know. I mean, you could use a light pad. I have a light pad, but I don't really use it very, very much, but, um, yeah, I just, I, I don't use it very much. I think the backlight kind of bothers me more than, I, I need more overhead light, typically when I diamond paint, so, that's better, and then this one right here, there's some some fold marks or um, roll marks in the canvas and it the way that I pulled the, the plastic it wasn't sitting in the groove very well so dust could potentially get up in there so I wanted to um, fix that plastic so that it's actually touching the canvas there's one right there but okay it's not too bad. I like it. I think this is going to turn out cool. I'm hoping it's going to turn out cool, being a square. Um, yeah. Does your can so your drills do have, where's the canvas number? Your canvas number's down here. The drills do have that number on there. So we should be good to go with that to store the, the drills separately. I'm going to sit these over here. I'm going to sit my canvas off to the side for a moment. If I can. The way I have my stuff rearranged now, it's kind of hard. <laughs> kind of hard. All right. I'll be right back with the next one, guys. All right. So this one here, um, I got um, for a couple of reasons. Um, I like. I like the style it's kind of almost the same style as that cat one in a way um i like the style and um i'm hoping that it'll turn out really cool so this one has a t um a fancier bag for your toolkit um but it's got a just a pen in there um a squishy there's a boat with a couple heart wax in there and um, what looks to be like a three and a five placer in there. Um, I'm not going to take it all out, but you can kind of see through the frosties. But yeah, so it says multi-placer times one, but there's two in there. There's two in there. I am going to take it out. What is wrong with me? <clears throat> Goodness gracious. What is wrong with me? <laughs> yeah, so there's like a three placer, and I don't know what this is. Maybe a five? But it's just not, it's not cut right. Like these, these multi-placers aren't bad if you're just starting out, but 
anybody, you know, who does any multi-place and knows that it's hit or miss with those plastic ones. Sometimes they're thicker, sometimes they, um, they're not cut out right, and, you know, they're just, they don't grip your drills right, so, yeah. Just a whole bunch of mess with that. This is a square drill uh, painting again. I'm going to set that to the side. And we are going to look at this. So I got Berlin. Cityscape of Berlin. And um, you're asking me, well, Stacy, you're American. Why not get an American city? Well, because I lived in Germany when I was a kid. And, um, I really, like, those are some of the first memories that I have, um, from my childhood is living there. And I really liked it. Now, they don't, because I didn't live in, like, a major city, they don't, they're not going to have a diamond painting of my, of my town. Like, most of the time when they... <laughs> Do these city type um, diamond paintings at least for Germany they usually just do Berlin um, but I was in more southern Germany um, I was in a, a town called Leonberg which um, is outside of Stuttgart and so um, Outside of Stuttgart, which is like kind of like a military town, and then, or at least it was back then, I'm assuming it still is. Um, you know, it's got the American base on it and stuff like that. And, um, uh, but it, you know, other than that, like Frankfurt and, and Hamburg were pretty much where I was at. I didn't, I think we went to Berlin once. Um, but, uh, not as much as, like I said, not as much as like Frankfurt. We, we would go to Frankfurt quite a bit, but, um, in, in any event, Germany holds a very special place in my heart. And I really liked this style of diamond painting. So I wanted to, um, get one. And I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to get one from Germany because I don't have any diamond paintings that are German related. And I really want one. So I got Berlin after I took forever to get that plastic down. <laughs> so, um,. I don't know what it's supposed to say underneath of it, if anything, so that's probably not going to turn out. So I might just not even diamond paint this. I might just continue the background. Um, Berlin's got a couple of different colors in it, um, so I might just turn, you know, not do the kind of like outline that it has and just the predominant color is K on this, which is 948. So I might do the whole thing, just 948 and not, not put any of the extra colors on it so that you can really see it. Um, it'll stand out. But there's color, <coughs> color blocking on it and then um, some, some confetti. I don't know if these people will turn out that are down here. Um, the car, you should be able to tell what the car is, but I don't know about the people. But that's okay with me because, I mean, I just really like the the whole outline of it. I'm going to zoom in um, and work so you can see this thumbnail at least a little bit. So, that's what it's supposed to look like. And... You can see the Berlin there where it's got multiple colors in it. And like I said, I don't know what's supposed to be written underneath of it, but I'm not going to worry about that. The drill field looks pretty good. I zoom out, not so far, but the drill field looks pretty good. You've got 25 colors. 
You've got numbers and letters. Again, there's an 8, but there is no B. Um, they all look distinctively different in color. Um, we've got our drills here, which are squares. Um, I'm not seeing dimples. Oh, yeah, I see dimples on that, that mustard-colored one. So, um, probably acrylic, if that's what you go by. Um, I'm not going to take them out because I don't want to take up all of the time with all the noise for you guys. But you've got a pretty, pretty good color palette there. All different shades greens and reds and pinks um, some off-whites it looks like or or a pale pink hold on my cat is causing trouble okay sorry about that guys <laughs> my cat was just like behind my computer and I get really freaked out about that because of static and stuff like that can really mess up your computer so I was just like oh so, <laughs> um, I let them outside. Um, but here you go. Again, you've got a really pretty color palette here. Um, they're in the individual baggies. I think they're really pretty. Again, I don't really have problems with uh, their drills as long as they're cut correctly. Because some of them are not the same size sometimes but I usually find that in the darker colors than I do more so in the lighter colors um, I'm gonna zoom back out and then this does have the I think it has the yep it's got the canvas number on it BK 782207 yep so we've got a 40 by 50 40 by 50 Berlin Germany I think it's really cool really cool again I like this art style as you can see um both the cat and this one are kind of the same similar art style really really cool I'm gonna set this one aside and put these aside as well and I'm gonna be right back with the, the next one Okay, I'm back with this one. Now, I haven't unrolled it yet, um, and I probably won't. This is a 40 by 55. Um, the reason I probably won't unroll it is because um, it's double-sided adhesive, so you're, um, you're not going to be able to see what the canvas looks like anyway. So I do have a picture here to show you. Um, so I'm just going to set this aside for a minute. It does come with, um, it is a square diamond painting. Um, you've got a toolkit that's got some baggies, those cheap um, angled tweezers, uh, your pen, a boat, and um, some wax in there. So you've got that. And this is, so the canvas is a, what did I say, a 40... 40, 40 by 55. Now I got this one, have no idea if it's going to turn out to, to be completely honest with you. And that's the reason that I got it. I wanted to see if, because I'm seeing these a lot on, um, on budget sites and I want to see if it's worth it. it you know, sh can you buy these? Will they turn out? Now, they're old, like, um, old-style specimen cards, or not specimen cards, but, like, encyclopedia cards, so to speak, that have multiple um, pictures on it um, to show you all the different kinds of stuff. Um, and the one that I got is mushrooms. And um, I just wanted to know, because most people... I think you can buy this, um, all the links will be down below by the way, but I think you can buy this in different sizes and I got a 40 by 55 because I thought that me, you know, most people are probably going to buy that size. Um, so I'm going to zoom in here so we'll take a look at this sheet so that you can see the picture. So this is the picture. 
So as you can see, it's very busy. Um, and it is that way to show off all of the different um, mushrooms. So that's what I mean by like one of those old encyclopedia pages or something like that. And I'm seeing these a lot on the budget diamond painting companies. And I understand what they're doing. They're going and they're, you know, trying to find like free pictures that they can um, turn into diamond paintings, you know, to make money give people more of a variety so i completely understand why they did it however um at some point you know with any company at some point if it doesn't make sense and it doesn't turn out good then um there's no point in making it um and i just wanted to see if something because i like i like these kind of pictures you know these kind of um encyclopedia cards and I want to know if it turns out, if it's worth it, you know. Um, it has what looks to be, let's see, 40. So 40 colors. Crazy is some crazy symbols. So if you don't like working with symbols, sorry. <laughs> but it's got letters, numbers, um, and symbols. And, and They've got the, you know, less than and greater than signs on here, um, percentage, um, the, what is that called? The ampersand, is that what that's called? The and sign? Um, parentheses. So, you know, not the most favorite of symbols, um, especially with 40 colors. They could have probably used the entire alphabet. Do you know what I mean? Like, but it is what it is, which kind of doesn't make me curious as to see what these symbols are going to look like on the thing. I might, you know what? I am going to open it. I am going to open it and we're going to see. Um, this has got tape all around it though. Um, I think, where's the tape at? It's got to have tape or something because how else am I going to get this open? Is it just, oh, it's just sealed this way. I get it. It's just got a plastic that it's holding. Which is fine. I'm not going to keep it. <laughs> now, with double-sided adhesive, you do not want to roll this back on itself. The only way to really straighten it out is to kind of release the the cover a bit um and let it settle and replace the cover so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna hang it kind of off of my table for a minute i'm gonna set this aside so it's out of my way so that i can get this kind of rolled out and we are going to gently Possibly. Double-sided adhesive also has a smell to it. So, you know, if you guys um, don't like that smell, then this isn't something for you. That is not coming off that way. Sometimes the, the double-sided tape that they use is very thick. Which I don't mind, but... It is kind of a pain sometimes when you're trying to get this off. Ooh, confetti heaven. Let me zoom in so that you can see this. Confetti heaven. Can you see that? I know it's kind of dark because I don't know why. To be honest with you, I don't know why my camera is being so dark. But yeah, so I don't know how well this is going to turn out. The drill field, you do have your grid boxes, which is fine. It's square. You usually don't see those. Um, but yeah, it's it's legible. I can read everything on here without having a light pad. Um, it's just very small. Very small. So I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. 
be to be completely honest with you I have no idea but that's that's the whole reason of getting it I wanted to get it to see um, to see if this would turn out you know what I mean because if they do turn out then that's that would be really cool because the images are are wonderful so um, if it does, if they do come out, that would be nice. I'm going to do this side too, so that this thing, once you, once you try to start laying this flat, you need to really, um, just do the whole thing and store it that way so that, um, store it flat so that it doesn't like buckle on you. Yeah, this, I don't know if this is going to turn out. It's probably going to be super pixelated, but, um, I'm willing to try. Definitely willing to try. Definitely willing to try. I'm going to turn it so that I can do the bottom side now. Yeah, this is, I, I'm pretty sure this is going to turn out pixelated, but I want to do it. I want to see what it's going to look like. Am I going to do it right away? Probably not, but I probably um, will do it in between other things. Um, will I do it with a, a whip and chat or DP with me, that kind of thing? Don't know. Um don't know if I will do that, but I think I will, um, as I do it, keep you guys updated on it in some fashion so that we can keep an eye on it and see what it looks like as we're progressing. These cover sheets are really thick. I like them a lot, but so now you can see how, how flat that lays. You saw how curly it was when I first opened it up and now it's super super flat super flat um, I'm not opening up the drills because they're in um, the little 200 piece bags or whatever um, so I'm not going to open that up but as you can see all of the colors are pretty muted right so you, mushroom colors so you've got browns you've got um, you know all different shades of brown you've got all different shades of like a grayish green or a khaki you've got pink um, a lot of 3865 that pink color this one here this 3740 3774 a lot of those it looks like um, some oranges yellows very very um, kind of mute, muted color uh, palette for this one. And what did I say? 40 colors? I think that's what I said. 40 colors. Yeah. So once again I will zoom in for you guys so that you can see this picture. That's what it's supposed to look like but at this size now um, I'll keep the description like I said, the description will be down below. And I don't know, I you might be able to get it in bigger sizes. I think you can. If I remember correctly, I think you can get them in bigger sizes. So, but I don't know how many people are going to want this in a really big size. So that's why I got it in this size. Because if you like this style and want to see if it turns out, you would, you know most people I think would buy it in this size. It says it's a 40 by 55 which means it's most likely a 35 by 50 um, because they always take off about five centimeters um, for the edging and 40 colors. You can see here what the symbols are. I'll try to go kind of slow for you guys. Yep. 
<clears throat> okay, I'm going to zoom back out. And let's do a little overview. Now this bag, oh, real quick, this bag does not have a canvas number on it, but if you store this in with it, then you can store your drills separately. So I'm gonna sit this aside, probably just right there, just so I don't make a lot of noise. So that's this one, okay? So to recap, we've got that one, which is a mushroom. Um, kind of, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> kind of encyclopedia page. The next thing that we have is this beautiful Berlin picture right here. Um, I really hope that it turns out. I like the style. And even if the name doesn't turn out, I mean, you could probably just take that out and put something else. But Berlin is big enough that you should be able to see it. And then the third one we got is this cat walking down a street which is really, really cool. Um, like I said, both of these are kind of in the same kind of uh, art style. If you know what art style that is, please let me know. I just kind of consider it kind of pop art, but it probably isn't. Um, that, And then the last thing that we got was these finger cots here um, to help, you know, uh, any any fatigue that you might find on the side of your fingers because um, I get it sometimes and so I thought hey let's try them out right <laughs> all right guys so this is my unboxing from Aliexpress I hope you guys liked it if you did um, leave a like, um, leave a comment, let me know what you think about uh, these choices that I got, and let me know if there's any of them that you want to see. Like I said, with the mushroom one, I'm probably not going to do that as, you know, uh, a whip and chat or a, or a DP with me, but I do plan on when I start it to keep you updated on it. Um, I would, Yeah, so I'll figure out some way to keep you updated on it and let you know. Um, cause I really don't use any, like I, I have an Instagram account, but I never post on it. So, um, the cat one and the Berlin one, um, a lot of, uh, a good mixture, I should say of color blocking and, um, and confetti. So I don't know if I'll show those, those might just be an update as well, but in any event, if you like this video, hit the like, leave a comment, let me know which ones, if any of them, that you want to see as we move forward. Um, it is December, so I'm probably going to be focusing more on um, Christmas stuff, but uh, Christmas and winter stuff. But um, hopefully January-ish we'll get to these, okay? Or at least to one out of one out of the three of these. Um, if you are a subscriber, first and foremost, thank you so very, very much for, uh, sus subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. And, um, if you want to be notified of future videos, hit that bell button down there and it will notify you when my videos go live. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Um, I would really appreciate it and it helps out the channel. So thank you all very, very much for joining me and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.